Voters have elected the most diverse city council in Boston history, and a new era of leadership is taking shape. Another change, women make up the majority on the council. Anna Ritas Rodriguez met with the candidates who made history by getting people out to vote the old school way. On a cold November day, Ricardo Arroyo takes us inside a Roslindale restaurant for a hot cup of coffee. Oh, un café con leche para the Friday after Election Day is a sweet one for the 32-year-old. Voters here in District 5 made history, electing him as their councilman and the first person of color to hold the seat. Arroyo was born and raised in Hyde Park. I actually have my own story of being hosed once by a neighbor for walking in front of their home. Um, yeah, it's different, but the district's changed in a lot of ways. Since 1980, immigration has been a driver in Boston's steady population growth. Arroyo's district is made up of Mattapan, Roslindale, and Hyde Park. More than 70 percent of those who live here are people of color. Most people in the city, especially in this district, they're paying over 60 percent of their uh, monthly income to rent. They're struggling, really, just to get by. When they're having these kinds of experiences on a day-to-day -day basis, they're not feeling like they're being heard at City Hall. The former public defender is now part of Boston's new power, a group of candidates who ran campaigns the old school way. Hola, mi amor. And won, with it helping flip the city council into the most diverse in Boston's history. We were in nail salons, barber shops, laundry mats. We really put our effort into um, and resources into low-income communities. That's Julia Mejia. As of Tuesday, she became the first Afro-Latina immigrant elected into the council. The type of work that I've done in the city of Boston has been about how do we uplift the voices of black um, and black and brown folks. I became a naturalized citizen. My mom and I cleaned offices together, so for us to go and vote for me for the first time was incredibly humbling. But Mejia's seat is contested, okay. and now there's a call for a recount. Ten votes separate her and Alejandra St. Guillen. With the margin being so low, we believe it is our duty to continue uh, in, in this election. St. Guillen's campaign has requested a citywide recount, which means her team is now in the process of collecting the signatures of 50 registered voters in each of the city's 22 wards. Those signatures then need to be delivered here to City Hall by next Friday, before a recount can begin. I'm really hoping that um, that whatever happens with this recount, that people do not lose sight of the bigger picture. And the message that every vote matters. In Jamaica Plain, I'm Anna Rodriguez, CBSN Boston.